Alright. Yep, don't worry when I twitch Xbox One stuff the fuck it all up. <sighs> That's funny. So we are officially, technically, hey. unofficially starting episode two of the uh, season one of the Deer Network. Uh, this is technically the outtakes video that we are recording now. Uh, this is pretty much me trying to find the best spot to start with before we officially start episode two. And I, I don't know why, just all of a sudden now thought, you know what? Some people might actually want to watch this. And give me a second. Let me move this actually out of the way completely. Ah, oh, there we go. And boom, back into place. Hopefully, back in the right spot. Right about there. Perfect. I will know if it's in the right spot or not. Trust me on that. Don't move on me. There we go. Get up some. See? Look at that. Outtakes already. This is that shit that I don't want in the episode. It'll probably get in there anyway, probably, but... We'll see. Um... Up there. Alright. But yes, these are our outtakes. OCD, stop it! <laughs> My gosh. Alright, and um, upgrade, obviously. For most that don't know. And uh, Zero Network episode one, pilot episode. I actually had my setup with the pop filter you can see on this side right here next to my face. That's because I had it on a, um, an odd stand. Now I have it with an, a um, mic boom suspension arm that is actually hooked up to my desk now. Which holds it very well to be honest. I love this thing. I'm in love with it. To be honest. You can actually hear that. That's That's me messing around with the um, twisting piece of it that tightens it to the desk itself to hold it together. It's awesome. Love this thing. Xbox One friend. Yes, Xbone. Xbox One. I uh, know I'm not adding any friends right now because I don't do the um, the Deer Network cooperatively with anybody ever. And we need to... I don't know if I want to do this with... Um, with what's-his-face. With... Uh, with Michael... Or Trevor. Trevor's like the kind of the character to do it with. I was also considering maybe doing it with um, multiplayer instead on a private session. I don't know which one would work better though. I really don't. I think multiplayer might actually work better. I'm going to try with multiplayer this time. Mm, excuse me. No, 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 no. Hold on. Online. Invite only session. Bam. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Invite only session. Okay. This might actually work better. And then what we'll do is I will actually transition over from this outtake episode to the official episode which you you'll see both of them you'll kind of see them pretty much connected almost minute wise minute to minute you know first one and the other one um every night i guess so this will be lasting instead of 7 30 to 8 30 it'll actually be lasting from 7 30 to maybe nine o'clock exactly hopefully though not because that would suck game of thrones usually comes on around 9 p.m eastern and i do like watching me some game of thrones so if this comes in with that i will be a very unhappy person Still have to make sure that it, uh... This is one thing I do like about, uh... Online is I can call my peoples. Is that a claim? Is my car dead? I don't know. Morse Mutual, we're here to help. <sighs> oh my gosh, claim all, yes. I think we can do that. Yes! I didn't know my algae was damaged. I didn't know either of them were damaged. Or was that just transferring them from uh, from one system to another? That could have been the case, I guess. Okay. I guess it'd be a good idea to 
call a taxi. I'm gonna do that. Taxi might be a better person to call right now. Thank you for calling. A driver's on the way. Now, one thing I'm gonna make sure really quick. Where's my options at? Settings. Gotta love them settings. Display is 1080p resolution. Beautiful. I just wanted to make sure it was in 1080. Although I don't know. If, I think GTA does run technically 1080p on both, doesn't it? It's pretty useful. Yes. Where are you going? Um. Give me a second, sir. I need to find a location to start filming in. Ah, oh, gotta love having locations all. Ah, oh, the whole thing just revealed online. It's beautiful. All right, so we. Lo que esta ciudad necesita es más impostores y gente plástica que quiera ser famosa. I agree with you. We need more. Where are my points of interest at? I think I had one in here somewhere. This one I did. We'll start there, and we'll go from there. Bam. And we're off. Hurry, bitch. I'm on it. Come on. I got a show to do here, douche. Get Put the move on. I guess I can't teleport in this, can I? This guy's serious. Oh, that reminds me. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. Uh, no radio. That could screw up my video and r make the whole thing muted. It actually made uh, the beginning of my GTA 5 next gen rage through completely muted. It was called the- it's called Fresco. It's a stupid Mexican song. I hate that song. It caused the entire video, the entire video, to be muted. So now I have to re-record the whole damn thing. And that really pisses me off. Thankfully, it was only like an hour long, so I just had to figure out wherever I started, I guess, per se. Um, in part two of the video. Or in part- the part two video, period. And just re-record that, and go from there but it, it it pisses me off a lot that I have to do that at all and that the video apparently everyone has that issue where they have to completely turn off the radio to make sure that damn song doesn't ever come on pisses me off a lot because it's like really I've never even heard of that song and uh, your wish is my command and my time is your money I, I'm, I'm aware of this sir. You know, just hurry please you know what dude no you are what? No, I. Ah, oh. screw it. Oh, yeah. Damn hey, it! Did I mess you up, huh? Yeah, you you messed me up, huh? Okay, out. I don't know. I don't think I'm running. Out of, I don't think I'm running from any cops in this thing, but no, no. Gosh, stupid radio. You know what? Hold on. Um, let me do this. Settings. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Oh, this is bad. This bad, MK. This is bad. Oh gosh. Oh, this is not fast enough to get away from anything with. This is bad. This is badder than bad. This is like as bad as bad can get. This is really bad. Oh my gosh. This is not fast. This is not good. First person good. Uh, first person's okay. I. Personally, don't like it to be honest, but it's all right. It works. It's functional. I don't know that it's good. It's kind of preference why it's good. If you like first person, then by all means. You know what? Ah! Shit! 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 Get in! Oh my gosh! Ah! I'm gonna die! Please don't die! Oh my gosh! This thing actually goes decent. It's better than nothing, and one of my tires has got to be flattened. There's no way it's not. I can tell it's 
If not, then it's actually not flattened. Okay, well then that's a bonus. It's not a flattened tire. We are in progress making, folks. Okay. At least half my health regen too. It's even better. Yeah, I'm Getty for Christmas. I like watchdogs. Uh, please tell me you're joking about the watchdogs thing. You realize that watchdogs is a terrible game. Besides the crap ton of, of scripted cellular phone controlling city events that the game is a pile of dog shit. They might as well just call it dog shit rather than watchdogs because that's all it is is a straight up dog shit. I'll be honest, the game visually kind of looks pleasing. The worst part is the depth of field effects don't even work accurately for worth a damn Sad on any face. version. So, yeah, I would recommend you not get Watch Dogs. If you're going to get any game, either go with Master Chief Collection or GTA 5, because although Master Chief Collection multiplayer is not working right now, it will more than likely be very functional, if not fully functional, by the time you get it later in Christmas time, or potentially speaking later next year. Uh, or early next year, I should say. GTA 5, however, works just fine, period. All around is working flawlessly, which is awesome. Would have pissed me off if they actually did another next-gen version working at launch, because that would have just been adding damage. A adding to damage done with a bunch of next-gen titles, whereas, you know, a number of them just don't work at launch. It's unreal the amount of games they've just allowed to slide through the cracks just to fit that, uh, that quarterly fiscal year BS thing of theirs. Alright, and... I would have paid... I have it GDA for 360, but I hate Halo. I have it for GTA for 360, but I hate it. You hate Halo? Why do you hate Halo? Halo is so much fun. Between the multiplayer with all four games in one, and the forge mode on, again, all four games in one. Although it doesn't give you all the maps. It's forge, but it only gives you limited ones, which really sucks. But, I mean, you can't beat the amount of maps and multiplayer. The multiplayer is the one that really gets most people. But, again, because the multiplayer is broken, a lot of people are like, Well, there's kind of no point to play this game now, huh? So. All I gotta say, though, is it's still worth it. Once the multiplayer works, it will be well worth the investment. Me, I'm keeping my copy, although I did buy it digitally, so there's that. But, uh... I know a number of people have already returned their copy even after being proclaimed Halo fans. The true ones are sticking with it even through this bullshit event. Albeit the bullshit event is indeed full of shit, but... Not into Alien games and Destiny. Well, Destiny I can see no one being into, but some people are into it. Alright. I need a decent vehicle for this. This is not gonna cut it. But this is usually where deer are, I believe. I know this place is a good place for deer. Usually is. Where in the world are they? Alright, um, I suppose this is where we start the actual episode, so here we go.